is no surprise that a fundraiser was really at the center of our 50th anniversary kickoff. Helping the community has been at the heart of WCVB's mission since day one. It is driven by the passion and the compassion of everyone who works at this television station. And as our Erica Tarantel shows us, it's deep in the bedrock of who we are and what we do. Before WCVB TV even hit the airwaves in 1972, an expectation was set and a promise made by the Channel 5 founders that this television station would stand out. That they would serve this community in a way that no broadcast station had served it before. For 50 years, there has always been someone at the leadership level with the word community in their title. My name is Karen Holmes Ward and I'm the Director of Public Affairs and Community Services here at WCVB and I also host our weekly magazine program, City Line. With the station since 1981, Karen Holmes Ward understands the power of local television and the responsibility that comes with that power. It's just been wonderful, Erica, to have the opportunity to use a station like WCVB that has so much reach in Boston and beyond to help community causes. Our community partners are vast and varied. It's impossible to name them all. Rosie's Place stands out for being one of our longest running. It's the first and oldest shelter for homeless women in the country. We have hosted book drives, clothing drives. It's the Jerry Lewis Labor Day Telethon for MDA. Channel 5's history with the Muscular Dystrophy Association also goes back to just about the beginning. Natalie Jacobson and Chet Curtis hosting as many as 25 annual telethons raising some $28 million. When Natalie and Chet hosted it, Boston Channel 5 was always one of the top fundraising cities. Telethons for so many causes go on to fight hunger, respond to crisis, support communities in need. The work that Channel 5 did from a Lawrence kid, just thanks. Thanks for all of it. When there are stationwide initiatives. We're here at Fenway Park finishing up our Veterans Day special for home base. Everyone responds. It is an all hands on deck effort from news to Chronicle to City Line. Some extra elves helping out today. Yes, they are the elves from all over Massachusetts that are helping for a wonderful cause. Uh, various hosts and talent from each of those programs participating throughout the day. Our programming choice is part of our commitment. Another example, the Five for Good franchise that we have in our newscast, highlighting nonprofits, supporting people that are doing good works in the community. Thanks to direct feedback, we know our stories matter. From helping kids connect with enrichment activities to potentially saving lives. And the station donates millions of dollars in airtime between our programs every year by producing and airing PSAs. Join me at the 32nd annual Rodman Ride for Kids. And our public service announcements don't end up midnight to 4 a.m. Our public service announcements are round the clock. Round the clock, a fitting way to describe our outreach. During off hours, the Channel 5 team is often on. The intent here to raise $38 million to cure cancer. Everyone on our on-air team gets involved in supporting nonprofits, walks, donating their time. Our past informing our present, that's a glowing Mary Richardson, a young David Muir. Channel 5 has always been hands-on. We worked with the Habitat for Humanity in Boston. So we did extreme makeovers for the Home for Little Wanderers, the Elizabeth Bishop House, Rosie's Place, Pine Street Inn. When a television station is awarded a license by the FCC to go live, service is part of the deal. But for WCVB, it's just who we are. Channel 5 has taken it a step further. It starts as a responsibility, but it ends up as a, a way of life for us. And you see us all the time, but it truly takes a village to bring you the news every single no, day. It does. Absolutely. It